ladies and gentlemen, President Barack Obama has got an announcement to make. Basically, it's with doing um, finding Osama bin Laden. He's been found dead. He's been targeted. He's been shot, killed, murdered. And, you know, they're bringing the body to the U.S. to confirm. If it's not already here, I'm just going by what I'm listening to right now. I should be happy. I think we, I think he deserves every bit of it. Um, I also believe that, you know, that, that doesn't mean terrorists is going to be over with just because of that. Um, there's bigger powers out there. They just haven't really fucked with the U.S. yet. But it is a, um, somewhat of a relief to people who were victims, um, you know, family victims of the 9-11, um, friends, family of the victims, um, and to U.S., you know, period, because, you know, uh, President Bush couldn't handle it or whatever. But... You do realize this news couldn't have came at a worse possible time. It came towards the end of Celebrity Apprentice. I'm watching Celebrity Apprentice. I mean, the guys won Team Backbone and and and, and uh, Nene and and. Nene, whatever the fuck her name is, and Star Jones was getting into it, and Latoya Jackson came back looking like Michael, and, 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 and Hope was there, scared, to her she's not a follower, and, and then the retarded girl who can't talk, like, she was like, you know, trying to have some understanding and stuff, and Donald Trump was like, well, how do you feel about it, Hope, and Hope was like, well, and then they cut the shit off to talk about what they're going to talk about 30 minutes after they finish talking about it. I don't know. So now we're just stuck listening to people talking about what they think about what happened, how it happened, and all this shit. And the president hasn't even spoken yet. He hasn't even showed up on television. So I don't understand why they couldn't let the last few minutes of Celebrity Apprentice go until 11 o'clock and then interrupt the local news with this shit. <sighs> Then how I'ma know who who got fired? That's what I wanted to know. So please make sure you leave a, a message, a, a comment, or something about who got fired from the girls' team. Seriously, seriously. Um, I mean I'm happy he's got he he got in court and killed and all that shit. Even though they can't find Tupac and Biggie's killer, but, I mean, they, they found Bin Laden, you know, I mean, I guess that's worth a lot more than that, but, you know, anyway, uh, make sure y'all rate, give me a thumbs up, make sure y'all subscribe, add me as a friend, once again, congratulations, U.S. Troops. Well, they didn't even say U.S. troops. They said it was a U.S. person. Also, it was somebody from the United States. It probably wasn't even no type of troops. Couldn't have been the troops. They're in Iraq, so basically, probably somebody dealing with the CIA or some shit. But anyway, congratulations. I'm glad he's caught. It's a relief. Uh, we find some type of justice now, especially um, friends and lovers and family members of the victims of 2000 and uh, what was it, 2001? Yeah, 2001, 9/11 um, hit. So great. But it was a possible time that y'all could have did this, like, at 11. Instead, y'all picked the worst possible time, which is during the Donald Trump TV reality series, Celebrity Apprentice. I know what you did, Obama. 
leadership. See, Donald course. Trump roasted you the other night, so basically you like, oh, I got your ass. When your show getting good, I'm going to just cut the shit off. That's what the fuck I'm going to do. See, I thought they was cutting it off and Obama was going to say some shit like, hey, we cut gas prices down by one cent. Thank you. Back to your regular scheduled programming. Anyway, alright, I'm kind of pissed. Alright, okay, forget it. Alright, y'all, y'all take care. Talk to you later.